Hi, this is Felipe from User Guiding. In this video, I'll show you how to create and set up your knowledge base, a powerful tool for organizing and sharing information with your team or customers. Let's get started. To start, I will go to the Knowledge Base tab on my panel and click on Activate your knowledge base. Here, I'll choose my default language and click Confirm. Our knowledge base is now up and running. Let's explore the page settings. You can add multiple languages to make your knowledge base accessible to a broader audience. You can customize your page style by removing user guiding branding, choosing your font style, adjusting box roundness, selecting a primary color, and uploading a favicon to represent your brand. You can customize your header by uploading your company logo and linking the URL you want your users to visit upon clicking. I will use Udemy logo as our example. You can also choose the background and text colors to match your branding. Complete your page by adding your logo to the footer. This is where you can customize the text portion of your help center. You can add a title and useful links to your knowledge base header here. I want to link to our homepage so users can easily navigate the website. You can change the placeholder text and titles through the search and the general tabs. I will keep the default ones for this video, but feel free to use any text or title you like. Lastly, in the footer area, you can add a link to the bottom of the page. Your knowledge base will use a user guiding subdomain by default. You can customize the host name to reflect your brand. To do this, navigate to the domain section and enter your custom domain. Following the steps, you will be asked to add a CNAME and a TXT records with your DNS provider. After verifying these records in user guiding, your custom domain will be active. You are all set to start creating and publishing articles. The tutorial video of the process is in this playlist. I hope this was helpful.